Everybody good? I think we're all good. Beautiful. All right. Lovely. All right. Let's go by way of official uh, YouTube introduction here. Hello once again, everybody. Back to Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition. My name is Bear, and I'm joined by these lovely people. I have Crazy Mike in here. Hello, everybody. And I've got Kyle slash Full Grown Gaming. Hey, what's up? I love these two gentlemen, and I hope you follow them in everything they ever do. And we're going to get back into this. We've uh, loaded up our game here, and uh, level 7. Wow, I'm actually level 7 already? That's surprising. Nice. I think you might have started off at, like, level, what, 4? Oh, Three, that's good. Four, something yeah. Like that. Okay. Yeah. Oh man, I died a lot last time. Didn't? No, I was only like tw two times, two or three times. But it was a good first, you know, yeah, beginning yeah. to the, the run there. It was a good virgin entrance into the land of Dark Souls. All right, so looks like all the volume levels are back to beautiful, pristine condition. All right, all right. well, let's get off. I suppose. Adventure. All right, so there are. Do you have any idea, like, where to go? I forgot exactly what we did last time. I think you went through that, like, you dropped down that little thing over there where the elevators were. I did, yeah. The, uh... So uh, I dropped down into the little hole that I was terrified of. We ended up running away from some skeletons for a while because I'm a huge pussy. And, uh, yeah, that was the extent of it, basically. And I, I'm in this shrine now, which I feel like may, may have some kind of significance. It may. It may. Maybe. Just maybe not right now. Okay. A, but a laden child. Hmm. There are a fair few number of ways you could go at the beginning here, but I, like you said, you don't want us to tell you exactly where to go. Right. All right. So I guess we'll just let you figure it out on your own. Two okay. ways are two of the three ways are like way harder. I would say. Okay. Yeah, so I need to find way. the way that won't instantly. Oh, cool! I didn't know you could like jump dash like that. That's neat. Your sprinting run up a staircase turns into oh hello. A decrepit corpse but no real value, apparently. So, uh, the, there's two out of three ways that you're saying will basically straight up murder me, and then maybe one way that's kind of slightly less antagonizing. Well, you could go the two ways, like, that are harder, but they are, if you've never played the game before, I'd probably recommend against it. I think what people do when they start the game, they go those ways that you're not really supposed to go, and that's why they think the game's, you know, extremely hard. If you go the way that they intended you to go, I think it's really not that bad, but... Okay. And yeah, normally the only time here. people go to the other areas is because they want to, like, get an item or something like that in that area right away. Right. So I'm, I'm only finding two directions, and I know one of them was uh, full of those skeletons, which I may be able to take down, so I should probably head up over. I think I will go back that way and see if I can't make something happen. Make some magic happen. Make some crazy mic magic happen. Oh, they're coming back. Alright. I can do this. I have the utmost confidence in myself today. Uh, if you don't make it over here, there is a uh, pretty good item you might want to want to try and find over here. Okay. For uh, like the opening game. These when guys aren't recovering health when they're reassembling themselves, right? Yeah, they I don't are think not recovering health. Okay, no. that's good. Because that would be horrible. There are skeletons that do that. Like, you kill them and they come back. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Whew. Halfway down to my health already. Holy cow. There we go. Okay, yeah, they are, they look like they may be recovering a little bit, but it's, uh, you know, not the full extent of it every single time. Let's get my stamina back. There we go. Oh, they are tough, though, my goodness. Almost dead. Almost one. Oh, God, I'm down. <laughs> oh, All right. <laughs> nice. Wow. This is like two GG. basic skeletons, and they're absolutely <laughs> annihilating me. This is ridiculous. <laughs> One thing that might help a little bit, usually, like, when I started playing the game, I didn't really lock on too much, but mm -hmm. I found that locking on can help quite a bit. Yeah, Especially, like, if you have a bunch of enemies that. like that. Yeah, well, I wouldn't call two a bunch, but one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's great for making out. sure that you, uh, you, you can block in that direction even while you back up. Right, yeah, that makes sense. So it does matter which direction you're blocking. It's not just going to, like, give you a uh, block from behind if you're having no. to hold down that yeah. bumper. All right, yeah. let's go recover my lost energy. And then run away? No, I should probably try to take him on again. Retrieval. Still makes me feel so good for, you know, like, dying and then coming back to where I died. Oh, yeah, I forgot I could yeah, do that. Yeah, I do that. like that. Oh, good. All right. Gotta take out one. That's going to make things a lot easier. Yeah, He's I was almost gone. So. Almost down. Oh, yes. One down. Who's the man? Yeah. Nice, now just Whoa. don't die again or they'll come back. <laughs> yeah. Don't call it a comeback. <laughs> uh. 
The lock-on tends to go just straight up overhead a lot. Yeah, one Whoa. thing I don't think you've done so far this whole game is uh, backstab somebody where, you know, you can, if you stand oh, behind yeah. them and you do a normal attack, you'll, uh, you'll do a backstab, which can do some significant damage. I should try that. Well, that, uh, I'm guessing when he lunges at me, that'll probably give me a good opportunity to try to get behind him. Yeah. Uh, also, make sure you're not holding your shield up. I think for whatever reason, it won't work if, if you're holding your shield up and you hit the attack button. Okay. Yeah, I found like you have to like not push anything but the attack button when you go behind them. Gotcha. Or work. I think I, I might be able to just yeah, wail I mean, like, on this guy a little bit to take him down, actually. There we go. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I mean, right. You can like very quickly lower the shield, but uh, you know. Well, there's our hour of Dark Souls, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope you enjoyed me killing two skeletons. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Made some progress. Yeah, no kidding. Large soul of a lost undead. That sounds important. Or maybe not at all. Oh, hey, good. It's the same two guys. Oh, more. Yeah. <laughs> good. Oh, I'm not locked on. I should, I should do that. Let's take there's, a uh, Estus flask real quick. There's a lot of skeletons in a graveyard. How fascinating. I know. Shocking, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, here we go. I, uh, okay, to switch the lock on, that's, uh, that's like pressing up or something, right? I think you, you just, just like, like move the, the right stick. stick you move the right stick. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Be careful. I think I might as well use a uh, firebomb on these guys again. That seemed to do a lot. There we go. Oh yeah, he's ne he's nearly dead. Beautiful. Die. Oh, he parried me. Dear God. Oh God. This guy's tough. Ooh, oh God. yeah, when they're Let's holding the sword like that, uh, there we you go. Look after those parries. Yeah, no kidding. All right, another Estus flask because I am a huge noob. Slowly learning, slowly picking it up. Yeah, this is the way of Dark Souls, pretty much. And stab! Ah, oh, didn't get that. Uh, one important thing to note is that that leaping attack that you have when you push forward in R2, that cannot be parried. So if you see an enemy, like, waiting to parry you, you can leap at him with that attack and be okay. safe. I'm trying to get this backstab going. Do I need to use a strong attack or a weak attack? You gotta use just oh, a regular weak attack. attack. Okay. Oh, come on, you bastard. Man, he's nearly down. He's probably just whack on him. There we go. Man. Normal battles, they take a long time. Yeah. Yeah, they... Well, maybe that might tell you something about this area. That's true. That's a good point. I'm probably venturing off into a place I may not want to go just yet. So my leveling progress. I'm guessing there's somewhere on the... Oh, my God. Okay, bye. Oh, boy. Nope. Maybe you should try nope, to grab nope, the nope, item nope, really nope, quick. Nope, nope, nope. Wait, is there an item over there? Oh god. Oh, you might want to get... He, he, yeah, that was, was the item. Oh, they're yeah. fast. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is scary. Oh, man, they're like yeah, rolling at me. Holy good. crap. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, look, I found an item over here. That's good. Good enough for me. Yeah, what a lot of people will do is like start the game, immediately run towards that item that you just saw over there, and uh -huh. if you die, it doesn't really matter because it'll just spawn right there. And Ooh, I really juked him out enough to get by. Hang on. Oh, man. Oh, he's coming through, though. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. He's the big boy. Okay, here we go. Running for it. Oh my god. I'm gonna get there. Give it to me. Give it to me. Zweihander. Nice. Oh, I got it. Nice. All right. Uh, now, where the hell do I go to escape? Um, uh, good luck. Away. Oh, god. <laughs> I think they're gonna box me in. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, god. Here we go. Oh, I'm backing myself into a corner. Oh, man. That was, that was silly. Ooh, no. Okay. Here we go. No, go away, go away! Oh, I'm, I'm dying. I've got like a sliver of health. I'm making my escape. <laughs> oh no, man! I just barely missed the freaking. Oh, they got you. Half of least resistance here. Okay. Uh, so I did get the item oh, though, right? Yeah, yeah you yeah, got it. You, nice. You get to keep that red. I mean, okay. Up after he dies. Freaking so. fantastic! That's awesome. I'm not even sure. Can he two-handed at this point? I don't I think remember he needs what strength. One more point is. strength. I think he had 15 last time he leveled up. Why do I even remember that, man? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> impressive. I didn't even remember how much strength I had. I think, right, well, so yeah, last time he leveled up, he had like 15. I think why he had 16. Nice. Probably want to. Yeah, it's that. a pretty good uh, opening game. I, I mean, mean, a lot of people use effectively it for with present game. stats. So, what am I looking at as far as uh, making that better for me? Should I you have just two-hand it? But uh, no, you need one more strength in order to, in order to two-hand it because. You get a 50% bonus to your strength stat when you two-hand it, and oh, it has okay. a 24 strength requirement, so you need at least 16. 
Alright, so I can't... So I can equip it and use it, but I just can't yet, you know, like, take full advantage. It'll be it. really, really bad. Your I guy will do, like, one damage it. each. Oh, okay. Yeah, he'll swing it, like, he'll have a really slow swinging animation. Alright, let's have a quick look, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> he's really yeah, struggling he with that thing. Doing. Oh, God. <laughs> as far as, uh, yeah. I kind of like that, actually. Like, you can't use it. Either. Yeah, that is cool. All yeah. Right, sticking with the axe for a little while, it looks like. Um, One thing I don't like about that, though, is you can't really, like, find a new weapon and kind of see what it looks like in terms of animations. They, they'd actually used to be able to swing weapons normally if you didn't have enough strength in uh, Demon Souls. Yeah, I noticed that, but, I, yeah, I kind of, because I played Demon Souls 2nd, I was kind of confused, because I thought I'd just be able to use it, like, at a, a disadvantage, but it still only does 1 HP or 1 damage. So I'm going to try to run over and pick up those souls that I dropped. I'm guessing, oh, that's right, everybody's respawning. This is a terrible idea. Oh, well, now you know how to run back, so... That's true, now yeah. You know all the Might be able to get through this. Corners are. Let's see. I think if I can just take these two guys out, then I'll probably be in better shape as far as uh, my ability to survive. Well, I think once you're back. able to wield this Vihander, you could probably just deck these guys. Yeah, that's probably true. If you die again and lose your souls, I would probably recommend using one of your soul items, maybe, and getting your strength up one time. Yeah, yeah. That's what I would do anyway. Ooh, I to don't use know that spy hinder. Firebomb. There we go. Oh, they. Ooh, they shielded it. Oh there man, we go. that's better. Did a lot more. Boom! Oh my goodness, knocked me back again. Take one down. Nice. Trying to backstab him too again. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, brutal. That feels nice. Two skeletons oh, down. Nice. Yeah, as you probably saw there, the backstabs definitely do a, a lot more damage than just a, like, a regular attack. And if you can uh, get parries and reposts down, those do a lot more than... Those do more than backstabs, right, Mike? Oh, yeah, significantly more. Yeah, I don't usually go for those. I don't find them to be that important, honestly, but... I don't know, they can be. There's like, you know, the one place in Anorlando. That's like the only oh, time I ever tried nice. to. Yeah. Oh, Let's yeah, go. they got really e easy to uh, telegraph attacks and like that. Uh oh, I think I might have made a huge mistake. Oh, well, you got your souls at least. <laughs> uh, I'm not. Can you get up there? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. the skeletons are able to walk down there. I'm assuming you can get up where they're walking down. Yeah, I think I just have to kill them all. This oh, actually might wait. work to oh. my advantage, actually. <laughs> Let's make this work. A firebomb might hit multiple Oh, uh, yeah, that's true, but I am uh, quickly running out of stamina here, too. Oh, God. Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna fall off. Oh, oh God. Man. This is, uh. Oh, I got my souls. I brought them with me. That's all that matters. <laughs> Use gravity. Yeah, I kind of probably should have done that before they uh, jumped down on me like that. Okay, so using a soul item, please do explain that to me. Uh, well, uh, you've been picking up these uh, soul items around where, you know, they'd be called, like, Lost Soul of an Undead or something like that. You can find them in your inventory, and yeah. you can use them just like any other item. Okay, and so I'll use my Soul of the Lost to... Undead here. 200 souls, sweet. Yeah, I'm sure not sure if that's going to be enough to... Yeah, I doubt it. I had over a thousand, man. That sucks. Um, let's see. So if I just quick look at my items. Got... Oh, that's right. I'm not going to be able to have my... Oh, I do, I do have two more of these. Use this. I think I needed like 800 souls to uh, get to the next level, and that way I'll be able to unquip that massive beastly weapon. Yeah, and one thing to be just kind of aware of, I guess, if you two-hand it, obviously you're not going to be able to use a shield, and that's a really, really slow weapon. Yeah. So I'd be kind of careful with it. You can it... still block with the weapon, however. Okay. Yeah, that's true. It won't give you 100% physical defense, but it should be good enough. Alright, so we got that one strength point, and I think that's just about all I can do. There we go. Alright, so I do need to be careful, but I now have Vizwaheimer. Zweihander, rather. Hold with both hands to use effectively. Alright, let's let's have a look. Oh yeah, there we go. Damn, son! That is powerful. Alright. Nice. I think yeah. it might be worth it to try to get back down in here and uh, teach these skeletons a little, little bit of manners. <laughs> After the skeletons. 
They need to know whose boss I guess. I'm really liking these skeletons today, apparently. Alright, let's see. Let's see if my hard work paid off. Oh, I kicked him. That's, that's not using this Y-hander. <laughs> it is nice to go back to it like a, an enemy you already fought with a new weapon and be like, you know, this is way better. Yeah, this is decimating these guys. Wow. Oh, man. I don't know if that actually reached him. I think like I just hit him with the shockwave there. Yeah, there was like a sort of a... Oh, he just parried me. Too. Wow! Alright, well... They still have the upper hand. <laughs> Boasted you, I'm guessing. Oh, let's man. go somewhere else. Let's maybe uh, let's maybe test my metal in the uh, you know the kiddie pool or the the bunny slopes. <laughs> yeah, there's no shame in that, definitely. Because yeah. like you know you're just pretty much simply not equipped to go through this area if you've never played it before. Okay, so let's uh, let's find the easy path. Where am I headed? Uh, that well, that perhaps? was one path. That might be it. Let's go this way. Yeah, sorry guys, I am, uh, I'm quite new to this myself, so if you feel like you have no idea what's going on, you're probably not alone. Well, bam! Ooh, damn! Yeah, these guys these are a guys. lot less, uh, okay. a lot Hey, he's going the right way, celebration. <laughs> Boom! Oh my god, this is beautiful. Another soul of the lost undead. Someone's throwing. You know, the good thing is, if you hadn't gone that other way, you wouldn't have the uh, the Zviander here. So yeah, that's true. I actually yeah. gave myself a pretty distinct advantage. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be a, uh, this is basically going to be doing like three times the amount of damage your axe was doing. Albeit it does swing slower, but yeah, but still, I mean, like as long as I hit them, I'm basically yeah. And it's fine. got a, it's got a nice wide arc too. So if you get surrounded, you might be able to take out multiple targets at once. Yeah, man. If I had had that strength point when I got myself into that choke point with the skeletons, I might have been able to survive it. Yeah, you might have. You would have been hitting them, you know, all at the same time. And yeah, yeah. Very nice. All right, let's make something happen up here. Sewer tunnels. Oh, giant okay. rats! It's about time. But wait, wouldn't be a, a game without giant game. rats. No kidding. You know, I'm surprised isn't in this game. Bats. <laughs> there's, always, there's always bats in games like this. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, there are none, are there? Bats. As far as I know. It'd be pretty tough for me to hit some bats with this thing. Well, the things in Blight Town at the bottom are kind of... Oh, yeah, uh, mosquito They're not rats. really bats, but... Hello, I imagine gentlemen. that's what trying to hit a bat would be like. Boom! Oh my god, this is beautiful. I feel like a true man. Still have to destroy every <laughs> single barrel just because Mike told me there's something in one of them. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing it's not even going to be close to where I'm at. Oh my god, that hurt. Ooh. Just going to throw firebombs at me from back there. If I'm Run thinking about what him. Mike's thinking about, it is kind of close, isn't it? Oh so, yeah. god. Yes. There we are. I mean, it's close enough where he won't be, like, playing through the whole game, smashing every barrel, so... <laughs> yeah. I still might, just for the sake of it, but... It's kind of therapeutic, honestly. It Going is. through the barrels. Smashing stuff, yeah. It's very true. So there really is like no point to this otherwise, is there? Not really. <laughs> oh well. Alright. Heading through the white ether. I like how like, you missed a single barrel back there, technically. So it that could technically could it be, be the, the one. one? <laughs> could be it, yeah. God damn it! Uh. Oh man. Man, I'm finding all this good souls of the- Should I be using these souls of the lost undead basically as soon as I pick them up? Nah, I would I would hold on to them because if you die and you fail to pick up your souls, you still get to keep those, so you can, like, hold on to them for a rough okay. spot. So. Oh, that's that's a good point, because if I didn't... Good luck. Oh, that sounds dangerous. Oh, hello! That's probably uh, why. You met the, uh... <laughs> uh is that a, a drake? I think it... I think it's a drake. I think dragons have like little hands on their front or something like that, and drakes have like their their wings are like their hands or something. Be wary of yeah. sniper. Something like that. I'm no dragon expert. Yep. Yeah, I'm not either. I think people got mad at me when I called it a a dragon when I played it. So uh, I'm sure to call it a drake from now on. Oh. Uh, they're saying is someone's saying it's a drake. It's a worm. I guess nobody really knows. It's a mystery. <laughs> oh damn! We got sniped by that arrow, arrow man up there. Break through the shield. There we go. 
Big hit. Oh, I missed completely. Do you know how much poise the, the Zweihander does, Mike? Poise damage? Uh, Two-handed, it does, I believe, 76, which is the most That's in the pretty... Game. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, that's ul crazy. Ul ultra great swords do the most poise damage. Be the only way that you can have enough poise to withstand more than one hit without getting stunned would be if you had, like, full Havels and the Wolf Ring or something like that. Yeah. The Wolf Ring gives you 40, right? That's pretty good for just... Yeah, yeah. It's really good. It's great if you want to keep a light build and you don't want to get stunned much. Oh, jeez. Uh, poise, is that... What is poise? It prevents you from getting uh, stunned by weapons. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, like, when you got hit by the, uh... Or when you hit the, uh, whatever, that hollow or whatever, and he kind of... I, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. Like, when he got stun locked, I guess. Mm -hmm. That won't happen to you if you have poise. Okay. Mm -hmm. Enough poise, anyway. Alright, let's go ahead and put up another strength point. I do want to get to 24, that would be awesome to be able to one-hand this Y-hander. Yeah, I'd be able good. to use the shield with it. Yeah. Alright, uh... Exit? Yes. Excellent. Sweet. Those guys are gonna be well, back, obviously. Well, well, now that he has more than 16 strength, he can't be a giant dad. <laughs> oh no. Uh... I feel like I'm missing something. It's a running Dark Souls joke. Oh man. You guys can't use inside Dark Souls jokes on me yet until I've done like 20 <laughs> of these episodes. And then uh, I can still feel it. The, uh, you'll be part of the uh, the inside Dark Souls joke club, I guess. <laughs> Is that like a Twitter group you guys are a part of? It's a private Twitter account. Oh man. You can't follow it unless you've beaten the game. <laughs> <laughs> it like gives you the Twitter handle and the password as soon as you. That's the credits, yeah. Yeah, that would be awesome. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> man, this guy is surprisingly... That dude blocking. just took an Estus Flask. And I just oh, yeah. slayed his Estus throat side. as he did it. Yeah, that's a good thing to, to note. Like, when they are healing up, you can... They're pretty much as open as they're gonna be. Yeah, so. and... Another thing to note is, like, when you drink an Estus Flask, you get healed, like, as soon as the thing goes to your mouth. But then they have to pretty much finish drinking it and put it away, then they get the health, so you get plenty of time to hit them. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, double kill! Sexy. Oh, damn. Missed that. There we go. Another soul? Oh, Titanite Shard, what does that do? That is, uh, that's an upgrade item. You can use it later on uh, when you find like a blacksmith or something like that to upgrade your weapons and armor. Oh, nice. You're definitely going to want to do that too. Yeah. I, I made the mistake imagine. of not doing that. I went all the way down to like the second boss, I guess you'd say, with the like a hand axe, like unupgraded. Oh, man. I could yeah. the boss. Important thing to note that a lot of people don't realize the first time they're uh, on their first run of Dark Souls upgrading your equipment is better than upgrading your stats. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's why it, people can beat it a level oh, one. God. You know, it's not as important to level up, I guess. Yeah. Eventually, you'll get a weapon, or you know, certain types of weapons that don't even scale with stats, so it doesn't, you know. Yeah. Doesn't much. Not too many weapons like that in the game. I think it's mainly just all the dragon weapons don't scale. Do like uh, elemental weapons scale still? Yeah, they scale with typically some kind of. Oh, actually, wait. You're talking about lightning and fire? No, they don't scale. Black yeah. fire bombs, beautiful. Now, would I be picking up black fire bombs in chests if I hadn't picked that as my gift? Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. So, was it perhaps not the best gift to pick? You can pick up all the items in the game. Although oh, I okay. suppose, since divine blessings are so rare, maybe it was best to pick that one. Yeah. I mean, you can get the master key. Um, if it's not your first run, then everyone always wants to pick the master key so they right. can use the shortcut right away, but. First one, Divine Blessing probably wouldn't be the best. It's essentially like an instant full heal, so. Oh, wow. That, that is awesome. Yeah. You get like, what was that? It's like three or five at the start, which is a lot, because you can only get like seven through the entire playthrough. Damn. Yeah, that would be really good to have. Can you get the Master Key in the game if you don't, if you pick it at the beginning? Uh, I don't, don't think don't I ever got it. it. Or if you do pick it, can well, you, you can pick it up again, pretty much? Well, you don't get up. You buy it from. At, at, once you get past a certain oh. point, you can buy it from the uh, that one merchant guy who's got like the golden horned helmet. Yeah, I never. I always pick the master key. Like I never even. Need, I kind of thought you couldn't get it, but you can. You used to not be able to get it. Uh oh. Yeah, it was like added to his like list of items he sells in a, at a later date. I'm liking that these guys are basically continuing the tutorial for me with their little messages on the <laughs> ground here. 
Well, those uh, are probably those player, player messages. Right, yeah. right. After you kill that guy, I'm assuming you killed him by now. You might look around to see a treasure chest up there. Uh, did also, you get that already? I'm not sure. Uh, the one on top of the tower? Uh, no, uh, he needs, he, needs, a... he needs to buy the resident key to get in there, because normally you can open the door with oh, the really? mask. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that oh, yeah, door that's was right. locked. Yep. But uh, also, I just realized there's actually a merchant that you passed by a while ago, which he will sell an item that will allow you to place those messages on the ground if you wanted to. And it is uh, very good to have two experienced players in my ear, Phil. And these are Crazy Mike and Full Grown Gaming. If y'all don't recognize the voices, uh, please drop the links, somebody in there, to these two guys on their Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter pages. Follow them because they are super helpful in my first Dark Souls endeavor. You guys it's are... always good to have somebody along when you play Dark Souls. No kidding. I don't know if I'd be able to even do... I'd probably keep continue... Oh, God. I probably should have been ready for that. Okay. I was gonna say I probably wouldn't have even known <laughs> to stop going through that oh skeleton <laughs> path if I uh, if I didn't have you guys along. If you have a fast roll, you can actually roll past that, and like the fire will still be on you, and you can set that gun fire. Have you uh, seen that, Mike? Uh, wait, seen it's kind of cool. Like that barrel, the flaming barrel, that just rolled down. If you oh, have a yeah. fast roll, you can like roll to the left of it, and the fire will somehow like leap from the barrel to you to that hollow and take them out. <laughs> That's interesting. Death I've ahead. never seen that. You need the mask yeah. in there anyway, but yeah, that's definitely death for most new players. Good. <laughs> Down there, yeah, yeah. Re remember to keep on there. breaking all those barrels. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. I think I might have missed a few, but imminent lizard. Oh, well. Only missing one uh, could be it. Only missing one could be the problem, goddammit. Ah, uh, you guys are taunting me with this one barrel <laughs> item. <laughs> Uh, aha, even more. This looks like where it might be. Aha! There you are. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I can't get it. Oh, it's a lizard. Do I kill it? Yes, yeah. murder it. Die! I can't hit Before it. Just kill it as quickly as possible. Ah, die! He's running! Oh boy. <laughs> He's <Die>! just like. <laughs> oh, did I get it? I think I got it. Yeah, I think it'll disappear if you don't kill it. There we go. Oh, wait, it's still got. Oh, nice. Sweet! Got the stuff. Ah, oh, nice. Does go. it matter how long you take to kill it to like what you get? Because I've noticed sometimes it seems like sometimes I don't get like one of the two items. Maybe that's just no. A lot of them will only drop the twinkling titanite, but the regular titanite I think it's just like a loot table. So. Oh yeah, the one you know by the one in the the black knight in the the basin up there. Yes. That one it seems like it like because uh, speed runs run through there and it seems like I'd never get the. Uh, the regular Titanite, I don't know. I just witnessed the death of a ghost in some manner. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Alright, I think well, I he didn't even make it to the boss. Night. He just stood there. Probably like an AFK guy, it seems. <laughs> yes, yeah, apparently. It's probably an invader killed him. That's right. All right. You know, if you end up having a problem with any boss, which I don't think you will for the foreseeable future, uh, you can always go human and summon help. Oh, okay. Okay, yep, that looks fun. <laughs> Horus Demon. There's like snipers and stuff too, oh my god. And oh, I missed, man. and I'm halfway there! You're halfway if there! If only you looked around uh, uh. before setting this guy off. Maybe okay, you... let's get the hell out for just a second. <laughs> oh man. Oh my goodness. I can't go back! Yeah, oh god! Boss, man. I'm you dead. You can't leave a boss room. <laughs> what would be crazy. <laughs> look at his, oh, look at his menacing grill up in my face. <laughs> well, GG. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the. I would call that the first real boss of the game, honestly. Jesus, man. Right? I don't. So, the asylum game is pretty easy, but. Right. So, what do you? Thinking back, what do you think you learned from that boss fight right there? Uh, don't go that way. <laughs> well, maybe <laughs> you actually don't have to kill that boss if you go another way, but. But you need um, the key for it, so. Yeah. Oh God. Um. I didn't really. Yeah, I lost all my souls there. I guess... Time to go back? Time right, to go back. Right. Time to go back. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Oh, well, actually, uh, while he's here, maybe he can stop by the uh, merchant. He's actually Yeah, I was gonna here. say, if you buy a, a certain item from that merchant, you'll be able to get... He does sell the key, right? Uh, the resonance key? I believe yeah. so. I think that it chest might be like a thousand souls, though, so... 
Oh, uh, do you think it's worth it? I know uh, Nick told me to get that item in that chest. Uh, that yeah, boss. that chest could be very useful. I mean, with this Vihander, I don't think he'll need it, but uh, for maybe later on, he might want to use it for a boss or two. So, uh, am I going in the correct direction to get to the merchant? No, it uh, was actually no. back a little bit. Okay, it was like, I'll head that way. Yeah, Make oh, sure you don't I've kill him. Item Actually, here. if you do kill him, you do get a, a pretty good item, but... Yeah, but I wouldn't I kill wouldn't him. him. Alright. Ooh, wooden shield. That's probably worse than my current shield, I'm guessing. Yeah, it is. One unique quality of the bandit shield, uh, that spider shield, is when you... Normally, when you block into, like, a poisonous attack, you'll still get a little bit of poison buildup, but with the bandit shield, that doesn't happen. Nice. Oh god, oh, I just let him backstab me, that was silly. Or nearly backstab me, I guess. Okay, I'm thinking this way. Back over down the stairs. Do I need to go across the bridge? No, you actually walked right yeah, past Yeah, you were there when you were fighting I'm really guys. good it, at it, walking it, past primary objectives. It's hidden in plain sight. <laughs> oh god, of. okay. Yeah, you remember how your goal was to, like, break all the boxes and stuff? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good hint. This thing? Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I missed that entirely my first try, too. Yeah, this, it is kind of hidden. Yeah, I remember I actually missed that, too. I was wondering, like, I remember in, in Demon's Souls, you just, like, push the light to place a sign. I've yeah. been wondering all throughout Dark Souls, I'm like, when do I get the place down signs? I'm seeing all these signs at the beginning. Yeah. And turns out I just had to buy the soapstone from the merchant down here. Ah. Uh, you kind of passed him again. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. Back. Okay. Oh, you got it, okay. You seem to have your wits about you. You seem to have your customer. wits about you, I trade for merchant sales. man. Everything's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Purchase item. Repair powder. Oh, weapons have uh, degradation? Yes, but it's usually pretty slow, and bulkier weapons like this Vihander have a lot more durability, so you won't have to worry about it for a long time. Okay. Ah, oh, the residence kid. I don't have enough stuff, enough souls for it. Or do it's I? probably not a huge deal, but if you could spare the souls, I mean, I could take one of the. Uh, what a waste! Of I could take one of the undead souls that I got. Yeah, it might be worth it. I think I'll do it. But yeah, like Mike that. said, if you had the master key, you wouldn't have to buy that for to get the item. Right. But well, let's do it. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Just the residence key. There we go. You know, I always thought the master key should open that door that you have to get after you beat or by that gate. I forgot what the what the key is called, but to go down into the depths. Oh right, right. I don't know. I always thought the master key should open that door, but. I guess if you have the master key, you would never have to go that way in the first place. Yeah. I think it would have been funny if you could just, like, throw the master key in the Lord Vessel and Gwen's prison opens yeah, up. Yeah, just win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, and you know what? I, I am... Oh, it's up here, isn't it? That's right. Up a little bit farther beyond where I'm at. Is it? I think so. Totally uh, which slashing one? guys through the uh, building. The residence key, the one I just got, I'm pretty sure oh, yeah. I'm going the right way. Yeah, you're going the right way. Okay. So far, that I see. Yeah. And, oh, hey, you're hidden. Oh my god. Dude slashes around like a madman. There we go. Should probably start using some black firebombs again when I have the opportunity. Yeah, especially since you picked them up in the, uh... That one chest back there. Right. I would probably save them a little bit more for like when they're really, like if you're in a situation where those uh, like those skeletons were, where you're really backed into a corner, right? Or like for a boss or something like that. For just like random enemies, I probably wouldn't use them, but okay. yeah, they are pretty good for bosses. Yeah, that's true. I probably wanted to use quite a bit, quite a few of them on uh, Mr. Taurus Demon up there. Yeah, there's a way you can make it pretty easy. Like if you walk in the thing, just look around a little bit, and you might be able to use a tactic. That you've already learned to make it a little bit easier. Be wary of chests. Yes. You'll be seeing chest? that later on too. Nothing happened. Okay. Uh, so whoever put that down, there was a, I guess, troll. Just trying to mess with you. Oh, okay. So they're like, I'm guessing there's like mimics. There are, yeah, and they're okay. actually called mimics. Oh man, why? Well, they are. They're always called mimics. You should have kept him guessing. 
<laughs> oh, should I? Oh, you're right. Like, yeah, I, well, I, I think, I, think I pretty much figured it out. Yeah. Every everyone's first reaction, everyone's reaction when they run into the first mimic is always priceless. So, <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll probably still happen. So don't worry about that. Yeah, unless you know what you're looking for, I don't think you'll be able to, you know, tell the difference. Oh god. Oh no! Don't kill me! Ooh, god. Whoa! Estes, Estes. Oh man, come to me. Four I can't remember. Does this Lyhander have a uh, like a stabbing attack, like the like a claymore? It does not. That'd be really handy, but I guess it'll no. Make actually, no, no. Actually, the two-handed rolling attack. Actually, I think is a stab. Oh, I'm getting sniped from up top too. Jeez, they run out of Estes. It's ridiculous. All right, see ya, Alex. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. Yeah, speaking of which, I don't think I've ever actually seen you do any like rolling attacks either. You know, you can roll into an attack, and they're typically different from your other attacks. I did not know that. I should try it out. So I actually didn't know you could do that until I started invading and stuff. Oh, and that's I neat. Looked up like move sets. Definitely gonna try that on somebody. Oh, did I go this way? I don't think I went this way. Oh, down there. Oh, oh there's oh, a guy down there. Ooh, there is a guy down there. <laughs> There's definitely a guy down there. That's for damn sure. Oh god, Jeez, there's a guy behind me. Item. Oh good. <laughs> I don't think can he drop the Black Knight Halberd? Uh he can drop the Black Knight uh sword. Oh, okay. I was gonna say if you could get that that early in the game, that'd be kinda <laughs> There we go. Alright, should probably take another Estus despite my general lack of them. Some black fire bombs. Yeah, I wouldn't oh, really fault you too much for using a black firebomb in this case. That thing totally... I, I just got I a think, dud firebomb. I'm pretty sure they're fairly resistant to uh, fire. Do I yeah, that thing didn't even blow up. up. Yeah, it's weird. It just, like, fell to the floor. Hello? <laughs> Ooh! If you're really quick, oh, you yeah. would backstab. Oh, did you do that? He snuck up oh, on Oh, God. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Sneaky. Okay. You put your shield away, too. <laughs> firebomb time. Oh, oh god, that hurt, that hurt. Ooh, Jesus. Quick, parry him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I'm backing myself into a corner here too. This is bad. Another firebomb? Yeah, I don't think you can even get out that way, can you? Doesn't if you go like, like the other nah, way. It's just a dead end. Let's see. I should probably lock onto him before I try. Oh, there I go. That was right through my bleeding heart. Damn. Hey, welcome to Black Knights. <laughs> Jeez. How far did I get him? I think I got him like halfway down to his health, didn't I? Uh, uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna look more like a third. <laughs> yeah, I would say so far. Make me feel third. good at least. Oh, you almost had him. <laughs> <man. laughs> you were one hit away. But then I'd actually probably feel worse. Uh, um, man. The item that he's guarding is not. I wouldn't even probably even worry. Is it yeah, not it's worth it? Garbage, in all okay. Honesty. Well, screw it then. God. <laughs> but he could drop oh, his sword, which is really nice. Yeah, if he drops his sword, like all the Black Knight weapons I really like. Especially the Halberd. Oh, yeah, all which the I Black Knight weapons are very powerful. Should I be yeah, going back be. occasionally just to spend the souls I do acquire in case I happen to... Eh, all the enemies will respawn, so you'd have to run back. Through. Right, but I mean, like, I, I'll be just a little bit stronger. Maybe? It kind of... It, it kind of depends on how you want to play it, really. Okay. You can farm it up like that, but you really don't need to. Gotcha. Yeah, especially at this point, when everything's dropping, what, 72 souls? Yeah. Probably yeah. take a little while to even... When you say I don't need to, I think I'd correct that to I shouldn't need to. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, but Honestly, I... Definitely sufficiently strong for this area, since you know, you're killing everything in like one hit, so... Why yeah, you no know shield good. bear? Because I can't wield the Zeithfinder without uh, two-handing it. So. Well, you can have like the shield out and ready, and kind of switch between one-handing and two-handing for like. Oh God! One oh my goodness! Not when I die to these guys. Oh. Uh -oh. oh, this is a bad spot. There we go. Also, I haven't seen a situation in which you might really need to use it, but you can use more than one Estus at a time. Like, if you just tap the X button more than once. Oh, like, if you're okay. really low on health and you need to use more than one. Yeah, right. he'll, like, keep drinking it. He, like, won't put it back down and bring it back up. Okay. Oh, completely missed that roll stat. Tried it. Tried it, at least. Oh. Are we going to tell him about the, uh... The, the hell am I getting myself? I, I don't think it would even... The Drake Sword. 
Uh, he's got this by hander. He doesn't need it. Yeah, he probably wouldn't need it. Firebomb. Also, because that Black Knight Bam. and that Black Knight drops the Great Sword, that can literally carry him through. The Actually, I guess the, you know this Vihander can carry him through the game too. But it's easier to be carried through the game with the Black Knight Sword. That'd be awesome if you got that. Honestly. Oh yeah, so, I remember. I actually, I got a Black Knight weapon on my first run, and it made it actually significantly easier. Yeah, my first run that I was like streaming, I got a Black Knight helmet from the one in the basin. I just used that from there on. Right, yeah, I mean any I any. Got, there he is. Like, any weapon can really carry you through the game. The thing is that, uh, Black Knight weapons, since they upgrade with Twinkling Titanite, you can max them out much quicker. Oh, I see. And you already got a couple of those, too, so... Yeah. There he is again. He got, like, two from the Crystal Lizard, so he'd be able to get it two-fifths the way to full, so... Nice and easy. Hey, my friend, what you doing? <laughs> Whoa! When Die. you backstab, you can circle around them while they're getting up and Boom. get ready. Like, oh, how did that miss? How did that miss? I went right through his body. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see this. Oh, God. Oh, Come man. on. If he's getting up, They're invulnerable while they're getting up. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought I could kind of, like, abuse that. When when you backstab them, you can circle around them while they're getting up. And the second that, like, they're done getting up, you can just chain another backstab onto them. Oh, I see. Okay. And just keep, like, backstabbing them into oblivion. Oh, God. That was not a good idea. The firebomb. Oh, he took advantage. Damn it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Damn. he's taking advantage of you. God. He oh, knows, man. like, exactly what I'm doing. Okay. I can do this. I can kill this It's going to be funny when you kill him and don't even get the sword. <laughs> I know. It's going to be like this dinky little payout for all this effort. Yeah, I'm not even sure how many souls he drops, but I, I don't even think it would be worth it if he doesn't drop the sword. It's all about, Where's like, Draco? I'm killing him for posterity's sake at this point, man. I found that, too. Like, playing a game the first time, if something killed me more than once, it was like a, a personal life goal at that point. <laughs> it's a vendetta <laughs> at this point. Oh my god, I want this guy dead so much. So that backstab works, I should probably do what you said, circle around, try to backstab him again. If you can yeah. pull that off, yeah, that'd be really good. Yeah, the key is not to, like, swing too early, otherwise it'll pass through him like it did before. You gotta, like, you know, make sure he's, like, up and sort of able to move around, but you want to do it, like, right away so he doesn't actually get the chance to turn around. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm sort of, uh, learning about, like, the enemy's behavior patterns now, so I'm able to take advantage of that at least to a certain degree. Yeah. Yeah, this is going well. I, I don't. Yeah, you picked it up. Never mind. I was gonna say, did you pick up the gold pine resin? You got that from that chest, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, because it yeah, said yeah. beware of chest or whatever. Yep. Yep. Got the souls back at least. There's probably still the ones down there too, huh? Hey, as long if oh, you those keep dying gone. on them and, and getting back to your souls, you're effectively yeah, farming I'm souls. In that respect. Yeah, uh, you only have one blood stain at a time. So like that other one that you died on there, that's not oh, there anymore. Oh, that's not there anymore. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Yeah. Oh, that was silly. Oh god, I've already screwed this up. I completely oh, missed boy. the backstab. You know, oh, if you god. really wanted to go. <laughs> oh, oh nice. I see. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. You could, if you wanted to go all out. Like, the drops aren't affected by summons at all, are they? By summons? Oh, I don't god. think so. Oh god. Oh, this guy's brutal. So he as long as he like got the last killer. Two. Oh my god! <laughs> Black Knight cares not for the orb. I think you need to learn how to parry <laughs> oh, now, man. Bear. That's probably a good idea. I think that would uh, be like an entire episode learning how to parry. Learning how to parry. <laughs> we yeah, should yeah. Just I think... title an hour of tutorial learning how to parry. Yeah, I think the best time to start getting used to parrying is in Anor Orlando against the Silver Knights, because they telegraph their attacks uh, like the best, in my opinion. Or, you know, they, they, their attacks seem to have like that perfect kind of flow where you can just kind of tell exactly when it's actually going to strike you. So. Uh, yeah. It's best I think practice. the worst things to try and pair like these just random hollows are so erratic and Oh yeah, yeah, they flail around like crazy. Can you actually pair that flailing attack they do where they do more than one hit at a time? Like yes. that second hit for instance? I I think so. Like uh Like normally if I go for a parry on the first attack and I miss, I'll just kind of back off. So I haven't really tried, yeah. but I I know that there are other weapons that have like multiple swings like that that you can parry, so I'm assuming that you can. I am fearless warrior bear taffy. Except I've died a lot. My my lineage is probably about to uh, the sixth, I would say. 
Well, if you've died a lot and you're still going, I guess that means you get, like, the title Bear Taffy the Immortal. Yeah, which sounds, <laughs> yeah. sounds badass, but really just the reference to how <laughs> truly weak I am. <laughs> <laughs> Oop, yeah, that oh, work. that was close. That's yeah. having attack. I killed you if it can. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. Out of stamina. Oh man, this is silly. Do you think it would be worth using a gold pine resin on that guy, like just for the? Maybe. I mean, if he gets him in the back, if he gets him in the back step, he should be able to take care of him. Yeah. Keyword should again. We keep hearing that <laughs> one. But uh. Also, I think it might be effective, like, if you get in a position where the Black Knight is kind of starting to chase you down, it would probably be a good idea to switch your weapon to one-handed with your shield out, so you can just kind of turtle behind it until you feel it's safe to attack again. Right, yeah, that does make sense. But right now, you don't even have your shield equipped. It's on, you know, you have, like, your left hand toggled Oh, to. I need to do that then, okay. So, equip that. Well, I have it there. Oh, yeah, I'm saying, like, you toggled the left hand. Frame. Oh, okay, I see. So I need to go yeah. like this. And then I can just go like that, and then I can switch out quickly, or... I think I yeah. have it now? Yeah, just make sure you don't accidentally swing when it's so... Uh, you want to just two-hand your weapon by hitting Y, and then un-two-hand it, or whatever. Right. And that's how you know, you'll have your shield or not. Okay, so yeah. I hit Y... Just make sure you don't accidentally swing with it's one-handed, because that'll leave you open. Okay, I think I got it now. There we go. Alright. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Alright. Gonna daintily approach him again. This shall be our final battle. Except probably not. Damn it! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesus! Oh, it sounds like it didn't go well. No, no, I didn't go as far uh, again. Oh, turned around. Yeah, oh, he turned around at the last right second. <laughs> oh my god! You turned around at the last possible. You can second. still salvage it if you run, run away. Run to those guys were throwing fire bombs or something like that. Have your shield out uh -huh. and like block an attack of his, and then quickly switch to two handed and try to circle around him for a backstab. Okay. Yeah, if you can lead him all the way back to where you're leading him, it might be easier to fight him up there. Will oh, he follow you all the way oh, just there? Let him like stab will. me right. He in will the follow back. you all the way back to the bonfire, and also resting at the bonfire will not like make him go back. He'll just oh, sit man. there and kill me at the bonfire. Yeah, I've, I've seen a video where people were like, Oh god, run away! They ran all the way back to the bonfire, like, okay, we're safe. <laughs> and he just barrels through the room and just stabs him in the oh, face. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh. I don't even have, a, like, an opportunity to use my Estus. This is ridiculous. <laughs> there we go. Run! Run! Oh, oh, I still haven't even killed all these guys either. This is nuts. Oh god. I'm just making oh, this worse god. for myself, honestly. This is probably not a good idea. Just more enemies are better. <laughs> just run! Jesus. Oh god. This you don't is run maybe you can leave back, a whole back to fire shrine. If, if you run all the way back, it might be a pain to get uh, you know your souls back if you die. Yeah, that's true. Might be a good idea to stick close to the bonfire. I ran down. I think I might have escaped him, kind of. Oh, he's probably trying to think of a way to get down there. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Maybe his pathing <laughs> won't let him go down here. I know there is a Black Knight, the the one with the hallway at the base, and he doesn't know how to go into that cave, so if you run in there, he just he's just like, oh, I don't know, and just start like running on top of the mountain. <laughs> oh, well, okay, whatever. Maybe right, I think I might have escaped. Man, I, I, think I, I think I might want to take this opportunity to find a bonfire. Oh, dear God, I, I can't believe how hard this is. Welcome to Dark Souls, Bear. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> Once you master the art of chain backstabbing, you'll uh, you'll wreck that guy. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I think the f I think actually the closest bonfire is probably going to be back the other way. That you mean the one? Like oh god, the hello. One that's in the middle of the burger. <laughs> yeah. Oh shoot! Yeah, down to run. I'm re I'm getting really good at running away. It's a skill. Yeah, it's definitely a skill that you might need. <laughs> yeah. I would just start heading back to the Burry Bonfire. Yeah. Since, I mean, even if you do die getting back there, it'll probably be a close by right, blood. Yeah, uh, it's close by blood off that way. Also, you did end up getting a humanity. Oh, from good. Just randomly killing the guys. So you can use that if you want to to go in human form, and then you can kindle the bonfire to increase your total Estus count to 10 whenever oh, you rest at that. Shoot, he's just like hanging out. Who's just oh, waiting there for there? me? Oh my god. <laughs> Bye! It's a big open area. If you're gonna backstab him, now's the chance. Uh, I don't know, man. I've got one Estus. I guess I could... Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> F it. Let's go for it. I mean, yeah, even if not... you do die, it's gonna be right there. Yeah, the yeah it's a short walk. Alright, so I wanna get my mace back out. 
Get I'd have that like shield oh, out. Ready. Oh, he's uh, he's cornering me into the house. Oh god. <laughs> it's like right here. Can I just like? He might be too big oh, for the god. door. We can just throw stuff at him. I wonder maybe. if it would even be possible. Like, just lead him back there. Yeah, it looks like he can't even go through that door. Uh, uh, maybe he's just stuck. He's scared of houses. <laughs> I found his one weakness. If you got really daring, you could probably lead him to an edge and back sub off a ledge. That'd be sweet. Oh, yeah. You would still get the items he drops because the. Oh, God. He knows exactly what I'm doing, man. That's crazy. <laughs> and I can't even I throw that can... far. Throw it farther, you bitch. Oh, my God. It's the worst <laughs> throwing I've ever seen. It would be funny if a strength upgraded the throw distance, but that I would that's be nice. not the case as far as I know. Don't use firebombs. Thank you, Chad. I, 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 too late, yeah. <laughs> a yeah. Too late for that. Oh, jeez. Maybe okay. you can parry him. Just all or nothing right now. I guess. All right, yeah, hang on. I'm trying to like... If you, if you all or nothing. Make I sure got a hit. Oh, I tried to one-hand and smack him. That was uh. silly of me. Oh, wait. Hang on. This might work. Oh, man. No. Oh, oh just barely out of range. Oh, man. Damn it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Well, if you really want oh. to, now that you can go back and grab that blood stain, and you'll still get that humanity back. Yeah. Because uh, humanity is also in your blood stain along with souls. So. I'm not just gonna see him walking back up these stairs right now, am I? You shouldn't. Okay. As far as I know, when you That'd die. That'd be hilarious. Just... Yeah, that would be pretty damn funny. Did you All know right. that uh, the early development of Dark Souls, they actually planned on having the Black Knights just randomly wander around? That would be awesome. Like, yeah, like you just randomly run into them. I'm glad my two-handed swing is like slightly quicker than these guys' regular <laughs> attacks. Where is my stuff? There we are. Okay. Well, this is a fitting time to uh, go recoup our losses and, uh, you know, cry a little. <laughs> Hollow it's waster life cloth thing. There we go. Yeah, alright. I'm gonna call this good for today. Man. Alright. This is freaking nuts. Do we have enough to level up? We probably do. Let's let's go ahead oh, and Oh yeah, uh, definitely. Boost probably up the a couple stats times. A uh so I'm guessing strength is probably a good one still. Uh looking at maybe some endurance. Vitality maybe. Vitality, that's probably a really good call actually. <laughs> a couple vitality points. There we go. Oh uh, man, this is why the Souls games take so long to beat the first time. He, when you really think about it, you haven't really traveled that far. Yeah, no, I pff, barely gotten <laughs> anywhere. Uh, All right, next well, time uh, you think you're gonna try and beat the Black Knight, or are we gonna go back to the boss? Oh man, I have no freaking idea. I don't think you, I'm gonna be able to do anything. Somebody. I think yeah, if you summon Black somebody, and the boss. that's probably a good call. I was just gonna say, I think the remaining Dark, Dark Souls episodes should just me be sitting here by the fire, just nice and relaxed. Just, yeah, it is you know, safe here. Calm. No one tries to kill me. It's, it's until well until I summon someone. Okay. Anyway, the most pleasant uh, Dark Souls series ever. Yeah, that would be really nice. It'd be like therapeutic Dark Souls. Thanks so much for joining me here in the live stream today, guys. Thank you to Full Grown Gaming and Crazy Mike for being my constant uh, vigilante uh, guide, Bedouin guides. I guess I would say. Uh, go subscribe to them. Go follow them on Twitch. Go follow them on Twitter. They're freaking fantastic dudes. Uh, thank you again for everyone being awesome. Thanks to J. Smith OTI for yelling my name because I love it. Uh, <laughs> thanks to you, YouTube, for watching here as well. And I'll, uh, I'll see you on the next live stream. See you on the next YouTube broadcast. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. See ya.